Is warp drive possible? Ever since the sound barrier was broken, the attention of achieving the next breakthrough was therefore turned towards breaking the light speed barrier. Creating a vehicle that would allow traveling at speeds greater than that of light by equipping it with a superluminal spacecraft propulsion system that is more known as a conceivable functioning warp drive. While the concept has been quite popular more in science fiction, the seemingly fictional idea may not be as unrealistic as scientists once thought. In this video, we're going to answer the question, is warp drive possible? Before we jump to it, don't forget to click that like button, share, subscribe, this is Tectastic, and press the notification bell for more updates. The Cosmic Speed Limit otherwise known as the speed of light, presumes that nothing can travel faster than it. Einstein's theory of special relativity states that energy and mass are interchangeable, and speed of light travel is impossible for material objects that have a non-zero rest mass. This implies that objects traveling at light speed requires an infinite amount of kinetic energy in order to travel at exactly the speed of light. However, this can theoretically be solved by warping space around the object to move it, instead of increasing the boost needed to match the kinetic energy to achieve light speed, and a warp drive system just may be the device to do it. The general concept of warp drive was introduced by author John W. Campbell in his 1957 novel Islands of Space, a book that is generally credited with introducing the warp drive and hyperspace to science fiction. It was, however, in the universe of the much-loved TV and film series Star Trek that these and many more concepts of technological advancement became more mainstream. In Star Trek, humanity ventures out into the galaxy on April 5th, 2063, by utilizing the first ever journey on a ship that is capable of faster-than-light travel. This newly invented Star Trek warp drive not only allowed humans to explore other cosmos, but brought about countless journeys further into the final frontier of space, where no man has gone before. The speed of light is a universal physical constant that is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. To provide some reference, in the science fiction world of Star Trek, the Starship Enterprise could achieve maximum warp velocity of 9,000 times past the speed of light. Comparing this to humanity's current achievements, such as the Juno probe, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003, traveled space at a maximum speed of 74 kilometers per second, amounting to just 0 0.0002 times the speed of light. Another example is Voyager 1, which has traveled farthest from Earth of any spacecraft in history, which is now over 21 billion kilometers from Earth. It took Voyager 1 nearly 35 years to leave the solar system, and despite currently traveling further with speeds of over 56,000 kilometers per second, it's still traveling at 0 .0005 times the speed of light, and will take nearly 40,000 more years before reaching the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, which lies approximately 4.2 light years from Earth. Another take for reference is the Saturn V rocket that launched the Apollo 11 spacecraft into space, which traveled at 40,000 kilometers per hour. If you were able to travel at the speed of the Apollo 11 spacecraft, it would take 113,000 years to even get close to Proxima Centauri. And even if humans were able to create a fast-moving starship that could travel near or at the speed of light, our potential destinations would still be limited. The universe, as we all know, is unimaginably large. A light year is used to describe the distance between objects, referring to how long it takes for light to arrive here on Earth. One light year is approximately 9 trillion kilometers away. Even when traveling at the speed of light, it would take 8.3 minutes to reach the Sun and 2.5 million light years to reach our closest neighboring galaxy, Andromeda 
which would mean that we would need tremendously faster means than the speed of light as reference if we ever hope of being the interstellar society we see in science fiction. While the rate of our current technological progress may seem unfeasible for humanity to develop the means for interstellar travel, theoretical physicists, scientists, and engineers continue to work on finding the solutions needed to develop the technology possibly even within our lifetime. While the concepts of warp drive systems may seem highly theoretical inspired only by science fiction, the concept is based on some real physics. Alcubierre Warp Drive In more modern times, the concept of faster-than-light travel arose with the first scientific theory of warp drive that came about in 1994 when Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre used Einstein's theory of general relativity during his PhD study at the University of Wales, Cardiff, to develop a framework that would allow traveling faster than the speed of light within the confines of the laws of physics. The theory of relativity states that as objects travel faster and faster, they get heavier and heavier. The heavier these objects get, the harder it is to achieve acceleration thus never achieving the speed of light. Only things with no mass, such as photons, can travel at those tremendous speeds. Theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre developed a theoretical workaround, which is now known as the Alcubierre Drive. Alcubierre wrote in his paper's abstract, by a purely local expansion of space-time behind a spaceship and an opposite contraction in front of it, motion faster than the speed of light as seen by observers outside the disturbed region is possible. Basically, an Alcubierre drive would be able to expend a tremendous amount of energy to contract and twist space-time in front of it and create a bubble. This bubble would be the inertial reference frame where explorers would feel no proper acceleration. The rules of physics would still apply within the bubble, but the ship would be traveling with great speeds in the vastness of space. A simple depiction of this reference would be the classic tablecloth and dishes party trick, where the spaceship would sit atop the tablecloth of space-time as the warp drive pulls the fabric around it and the ship would be situated in a new place relative to the fabric. To add to this, according to the theory of relativity, the universe is a flat sheet of space-time, which is warped by any object with mass, much like a bowling ball on a trampoline that dips the trampoline down. That is what mass does to space-time. This distortion of space-time is what we experience as gravity. The Alcubierre drive uses the same concept, with the drive's bubbles surrounding the ship making an area of space-time that is compressed in front of the ship and expanded behind it. Inside this bubble, space-time is completely flat. This means that those traveling space wouldn't notice the strange relativistic effects of traveling at light speed. This would result in the bubble of space-time being hurled across the universe, while everyone inside would be able to comfortably sit inside the ship, with no indifferent experience to normal travel. This traveling spaceship would be traveling space while inside a warp bubble surrounded by a ring of negative mass, enabling travelers to shrink space-time in front of the spaceship and stretch space-time behind it enabling the ship to travel through space at ten times the speed of light. This theory set by Alcubierre proposes a way of going around the fact that beating the speed of light may never be physically possible, and instead pushes for warping space-time itself, much like the way it's represented in Star Trek and then some. One major issue from Alcubierre's proposal is that it would need an enormous mass of energy to make the warp drive work. To propel the spaceship beyond light speed would need the mass equivalent of planet Jupiter. That's quite a ridiculous amount of energy needed to power the warp drive, and is definitely more than any possible source found in our own universe, even more energy than the Sun could provide. The requirements needed to enable space-time to expand on one side of the ship and contract on the other requires an enormous amount of exotic matter that is, in this case, referred to as negative energy. 
Currently, a NASA mechanical engineer and physicist named Dr. Harold Sonny White is trying to solve this negative energy requirement based on the foundations of the Alcubierre drive. Dr. White believes that finding loopholes in the physics may be the key to solving the mass energy requirement of the Alcubierre theory and bring this requirement way down. Dr. White suggests that we might even be able to change the shape of the ring of negative mass to achieve a mass requirement much lower at 700 kilograms. This amount of mass energy will represent way more energy than the most powerful atomic bomb explosion. White has led a team of engineers and physicists at NASA to build what is now known as the White Jaday Warp Field Interferometer a beam-splitting interferometer which detects and generates a tiny warp bubble. This creates a microscopic instance of the phenomena that Alcubierre proposed, which would be required to get us somewhere incredibly fast, without the adverse effects. Though the concept of space travel utilizing faster-than-light technology such as the warp drive continues to inspire our imagination towards the great beyond, extensive future research is still required to resolve many conflicting theories. Evidence may lead to the prevalence of the negative mass needed to power the Alcubierre drive, but we still have no definite science to prove its existence. Yet these issues aren't impossible to overcome as scientists continue to develop the needed technologies that could become reality within the next 100 years. This would eventually revolutionize the human species, allowing us to be the interstellar beings that we only ever dreamt to be. What do you think? Is warp drive possible? We'd love to hear what you have to say. So, be sure to comment below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more.